long wait is finally over. Here is the complete guide for Carnival in Rio 2022. It's the first day of the unofficial Carnival Week! Today, it's all gonna happen! <laughs> Let's go guys! This will be an adventure for life. <laughs> I'm sorry this video has been delayed a few days. The Swedish gringo fell victim to some beach robbers. More about that later on. It's finally upon us, the magic week where Rio goes from a crazy city to total insanity. But this year is a little different. Officially, Carnival has been postponed until April. I'm sorry to say, but there is absolutely nothing interesting happening here right now. Carnival is cancelled in Rio, look at it all! All this footage is clearly just manipulated. Yeah, it looks really cancelled! No Carnival, sorry, sorry guys! Okay, I think I made my point clear. There was simply no stop in Carnival this year. And what's even better, now we're having a second Carnival in April. So first things first, should you get a costume? Absolutely. Things just get more interesting when you're out there wearing something fun. Let's see what's happening outside the door these first trembling hours. So far? No signs of carnival. Copa seems almost a little bit too familiar with not many special things going on. Although a lot more people than usual. Not least on the beach. Well, at least there is a lot of people on the beach. I've never seen this many people on Copacabana Beach before. Yeah, and there it is. Just a little feeling that something big is going on. Music and expectation. I like the carnival because they are people from various places. Meeting people from different places. The main festa is the main. Yes, and the beach. As the beach keeps filling up, there is no way this will not end as a smash hit. Just sit back and wait. No, these are not my glasses. Ah, it's the Gringo glasses. This is the official salesperson of the Gringo glasses. Only place you can get them in Brazil. Only place in the world. You always need an extra pair. Get the Gringo glasses now. Only. 30 reais? 30 reais. That's like uh, 6 bucks. I get 10%. Thank you. Mustafa, thank you for a good deal. What are you looking forward to during Carnival? Party and something funny. I like funny, funny things. And caipirinha. <laughs> I like caipirinha. Well, you can't argue with those priorities. Hang on to the beach until the sun starts descending and that magic light appear. You can't mess around with this light. It's just magic. This is the kind of light that makes you believe in, I don't know, wizards, Harry Potter, <laughs> whatever. I forgot how beautiful it is during sunset. Just pick any of these beach bars. As the evening comes closer, tension is rising even higher. Although we need a few more people here to really get it going. Perhaps a good time to eat. I am starting to get very excited here. A little nervous, it won't be as good as I hope for. Carnival starts now!
there we have it. A few hours in, the beach bars got it on, with people basically losing control. So far, not many signs of costumes, though. If you're not ready to go crazy yet, there are still more quiet options. I've been waiting so long for this. Last year I was in Rio as well and it was all cancelled. Whatever happens this year, at least it will be better. Yes, it's happening. As you might know, Copa is not really a party place. If you want things to start happening, Lapa is always a good option. And yeah, Lapa do deliver this first day of carnival. This looks exactly like those street parties that were forbidden. I'm just starting to get a little worried how I will survive this whole week. No real point entering clubs during carnival. The party happens on the streets. So good to see you, so good to see you. The tradition, gringo, the best in Rio. And this is uh, just the first day, it's gonna get wild! And yes, finally we're seeing some signs of people actually dressing up for this party. Let's keep going just like this. This is gonna get dangerous! I'm a nice Viking, I will not rape and plunder, I promise. It might also be good to point out that Lapa has a few shady characters. Keep your belongings safe. By the way, it could be a good idea bringing your proof of vaccination. It's a little crowded here! More and more clubs and restaurants are asking for it. So what is Carnival all about? Let's ask the locals. Muito alegre, muito maneiro, é festa, pagode, é samba, é tudo. É amor, é amor. So, how long does the party last in Lapa? Well, probably longer than you last. I'd say until 4 in the morning. Carnival is cancelled in Rio. Look at him. My thoughts right now, I'm just so grateful I actually booked the ticket and not listening to the news about the carnival not happening. It doesn't look very cancelled to me. My friend from the Philippines! Philippines! Having a costume will make you new friends. Another Viking! <laughs> There's always the next party! We could keep going for hours, but do yourself a favor and get to bed in time this first day. You will thank yourself. Things will get much wilder. Second day of carnival, heading down to Ipanema Beach to see what kind of carnival stuff is going on. 
Você está ansiosa? Sim, estou muito ansiosa para conhecer a praia de Ipanema hoje com o Sudwest Gringo. The same goes for Ipanema Beach as in Copa. The festivities doesn't really show on the surface, but the beach is loaded with people and the energy levels are just through the roof. And it doesn't hurt, the sun just won't stop shining. I've never ever seen this many people in this part of Ipanema Beach. Why no costumes at the beach? I think the Brazilians value their tan lines higher. Flamengo is the best team of the world. Yeah, there are different opinions about that. I just can't stop thinking about how great carnival in April will be. Boa carnaval, amigo. All right. Let the carnival part two comment. Once the closer to party, how do I know? Because I suddenly have color in my face. That's always a good sign. So, what are my thoughts for carnival in April? I think it will be just like a normal carnival. Each day restrictions are disappearing and people are just stopped wearing masks. It will be the best carnival in ages. As always, best vibe on the beach, afternoon. So this place really lights up during the afternoon. This is where the party is. Carnival! And that, my friends, is how you get salt water in your drink. When hanging out at Posto 9, just know the number of men will be a little higher than normal. Yeah. Chin chin, as we say. What do you get to see here? Forte do Leme, é... a praia de Ipanema. Super. I've met another fan here. I'm Pedro and Steffi from Belgium. <laughs> this guy is the inspiration for we are here now. I'm the reason you came. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> wow, <laughs> this makes me so happy. So everyone, listen up here. Do you like this guy? Watch the Swedish Gringo and just come here to Brazil. You will not regret it. And follow this guy because he's amazing. <laughs> you don't have to follow, just come here. <laughs> and don't forget to stay until sunset. The sunset at Aquador. It's the best in the world. Could also be the alcohol speaking a little here. And I almost forgot, bring your caipirinha! <laughs> Always bring your caipirinha! And how is Ipanema party-wise during carnival? Well, pretty much like usual. Ipanema is mostly restaurants and small pubs. It's not really where you go for that crazy carnival action. But food is real good. So sitting here having a little... Bolinho de feijoada. Bolinho de feijoada. And judged by my reaction, it's cheese in it. It's cheese in it. One place that the tourists miss. I'm not mad just say, Santa, just say Santa Teresa, that's all you have to say. Santa Teresa. So this is not the Swedish gringo talking here. I am the stand-in for my friend Talita. And I will be telling you one thing that most gringos miss visiting Rio. And that would be beautiful Santa Teresa up in the hills. And you will not get robbed, hopefully, because it's much safer than most people think. That's the words of Talita. Pretty much the same goes for a small exclusive Leblon. There will be more people than usual, but they will be wearing their normal clothes and it's kinda chill. But my god, people make themselves pretty. Well, time flies when you're having fun. 
This is apparently the last day of the unofficial carnival. So this is it. Picking up all the things we've learned on the road and making this day perfect. Today we're going all in. Something for me? Yeah. What? A bandana! Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> and people already tell me I have a gay vibe. <laughs> oh, gringo brasileiro! So where can you buy this awesome Viking helmet? Just give me a minute and I'll set up the web shop. Você está ansiosa por a carnaval? Porque o carnaval do Rio é maravilhoso. Que tem muitas variedades, né? Bebida, galera, os barzinhos. Então é bem legal o Rio de Janeiro. All right, Rio, give me your best. This could be me overdoing things. But with no other Viking gringos out there, you gotta represent. I'm probably gonna regret this. You know that little awkward feeling arriving to the party and it turns out you're the only one in a costume? Yeah, that's, uh, that's carnival for the Swedish gringo. Well, it ain't really that bad, but we already know Copa is not the place to party. I just don't understand where all those weird looks are coming from. This is proper attire for the carnival. <laughs> I might not have mentioned this, but a lot of people are saving themselves for the carnival in April. That's why you don't see so many people with costumes around. Well, it's time to leave Copa and go where the real action is. This is it. Okay, just a quick stop in Leblon for some reason. The crowd never disappoints in Leblon, but at the same time, the crowd kind of disappoints. There is no carnival feel in here. Yeah, just stay out of Leblon during carnival. Boring. So now this is where things get real. On our way to a big street party in a very shady part of town where they kill the gringos. No, no, they would never kill the gringos. Okay, this is gonna get so good. How do I know? Well, because I've already been there. I'm just recapturing here. Now, this looks more like it. Pedro do Sal, big blocky party, a street party, just waiting around the corner. Yes, this hidden pearl will pack a lot of action during carnival. Don't miss Piedra do Sol. Just hope you don't mind rubbing up against other sweaty bodies. Cause there are a lot of them here. <laughs> This is just the best time I had during the whole carnival until I came to the place just after this. <laughs> I love carnival and I love 
Swedish Viking man. Well, thank you. We are we're just irresistible. Time for some more of that magic, lovely beverage with a lot of vitamin C. Well, I can say so many things about this place. One thing I can say is it's goddamn incredible. I don't understand why I spend so much time in Lafa when we have all this. Does it show I'm having a good time? I think it does. Another Swedish dude! We have Alexander Skarsgård here. What's your impression after two days? Um, the Brazilians are very friendly, they're extremely talkative, and wow, it's so hot today. <laughs> it's really hot, isn't it? Oh no, so it seems the, uh, the street party is actually moving around. So you have to catch up with it. That's right, keep track of where that parade is heading and take a taxi there. Insane, it's just insane. The square is just, well, you're gonna see. Yeah, this is it. This is the carnival I was looking for and it happened in February. Just imagine how it will look in April. This is getting crazy. I will just not talk and ruin this vibe. I hope to see you guys here in April for the big one. It's gonna be awesome. Meanwhile, I'll keep pumping up good stuff from Rio and other parts of Brazil. And I will also tell you what the heck happened there on the beach and why I have all that blood in my face. I know it has happened to the Swedish gringo as well. I just feel very stupid right now. Thank you for watching and stay safe.